Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor with Simply Vegas. Today, we are checking out the Hayford Collection by Pulte Homes. Hayford is located in the community of Highlands Ranch in the Southwoods area of Las Vegas. The gated community of Hayford features a total of 91 home sites with a collection of one, two, and three-story single-family homes with four different floor plans. These four plans will range from 2,100 square feet up to 4,900 square feet. The HOA is $55 per month and there are no SIDS or LIDS. Currently, home site premiums range from $15,000 up to $60,000 depending on the size of the lot and the location. Build time varies from 8 to 10 months. Lot sizes will range between 5,500 square feet to 16,000 square feet with the average lot size being 5,500 square feet. Nearby amenities include Southern Highlands Marketplace, South Point Casino and Spa, Blue Diamond Ranch Center Plaza, and Olympia Sports Park. Currently, a little bit over half of the community at Hayford is already sold. Once the Hayford collection is fully sold, they will start selling homes in the adjacent community shown here. Today, we are checking out the Kitchen model, which features 3,894 square feet, 5 to 6 bedrooms, 3.5 to 5.5 bathrooms, and a 3 car garage. There are three different elevations to choose from, elevation A, B, and C. The elevation shown on this model is elevation A. The thing I like about the kitchen model is that it's highly customizable. At the entry, there's an option to install a 42-inch modern entry door. This option will cost you $1,600. As we enter into the foyer, we are greeted by 9-foot ceilings on the first floor. Here we have a coat hanger closet. Here we have bedroom 5 which measures 10.5 by 12 and overlooks the front yard. Bedroom 5 will come with its own ensuite bathroom, but there is an option to convert Bedroom 5 to a suite. This option will cost you $8,700. This suite conversion will actually get rid of the flex room which I'll show you later on in this tour. It will also enlarge the size of this bedroom from 10.5 by 12 to 10.5 by 16. This suite conversion will also enlarge the size of this bathroom. Instead of one sink, you'll get double sinks and also the walk-in closet will be larger in size. Bathroom 2 will come with cultured marble vanity countertop, a drop-in sink, mirror medicine cabinet, and also a Moen Branford faucet in chrome. Please keep in mind that what you see in this model home is a standard layout and not the suite conversion. There are three options in regards to bathroom 3. The standard feature will be a bathtub-shower combo with fiberglass around. For $1,300, you can upgrade to the bathtub with the cultured marble surround. If you prefer the option of having a shower with a seat and tile surround, this option will cost you $5,000. And if you prefer a low threshold shower with a seat and tile surround, this option will cost you $5,500. And this is actually shown here in this model home. There is also an option to upgrade your shower enclosure to a 3 8 inch glass. This option will cost you $2,300. Here we have the walk-in closet. The shelving that you see here is standard. Here we have the flex room which measures 11 by 10. There are four options for the flex room. The first option will be to convert the flex room to a den. This option will cost you $2,300 and will close off the opening to the gathering room. With a den conversion, you can add double doors. This option will cost you $3,300. Adding French doors will cost you $3,900. And adding French doors with side lights will cost you $5,200. As I mentioned earlier, if you did the suite conversion for bedroom 5, you would lose this flex room altogether. Here we have the focal point of the home. You have the gathering room, cafe, and the kitchen.
This is the gathering room which measures 22 by 18. In the gathering room, there's an option to install this beautiful electric linear fireplace. This option will cost you $5,600. If you guys haven't done so already, please hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you for all your support. In the gathering room, there's an option to install a center sliding glass door in lieu of these windows here. This option will cost you $3,800. This area here is called the cafe, which measures 11 and a half by 18. The cafe flows right into the kitchen. In the kitchen, there's an option to install an accent ceiling above the kitchen island for $1,400. There are two options in regards to the kitchen island. The first option is called the executive island which is shown here. This option costs $4,000 and adds base cabinets below your kitchen island. It will also remove the pony walls on the outer ends. You can also choose to have a waterfall edge island for $7,600. The standard countertops in the kitchen will be a granite countertop. The standard appliances in this kitchen will be Whirlpool appliances. You'll have a built-in microwave and oven combo, a gas cooktop with a 36-inch under cabinet hood, and an Energy Star dishwasher. Your standard kitchen faucet will be a Moen Sleek pull-out faucet, and the standard kitchen sink will be a stainless steel dual basin undermount sink. For your sink, there are three different options if you don't want the standard. You can opt to have a single basin sink versus a dual basin sink, that will be $600. Another option would be the farm style sink with an apron. This would be $1,300. You can also opt to have a farm style sink in cast iron for $2,200. If you'd like to install upper stack cabinets in the kitchen, this option will cost you $7,900. The standard cabinets, however, will be Sinclair birch cabinets with 36 inch uppers. If you'd like to install a pot filler, this option will cost you $2,400. You can also choose to have a window at your backsplash in the kitchen for $2,200. The cooktop that you see here in this model home is standard. If you'd like to have this built-in oven below your cooktop, this is called the culinary kitchen option. This will cost you $600. Otherwise, the standard layout will be a built-in oven and microwave combo right here. There is also the gourmet kitchen upgrade. This option costs $1,400 and gives you the option of having a 48-inch range. Here we have the pantry. Your home will not come with a refrigerator, but there is an option to install a built-in 42-inch or 48-inch refrigerator space. This will cost Here we have the powder room. In the powder room, your standard sink will be a pedestal sink and you'll also have Moen Brantford faucets in chrome. This area here is called the owner's entry. In the owner's entry, there's an option to install a boot bench. This will cost $1,800 and is shown here. This door from the owner's entry to the pantry is optional. This option will cost you $500. The shelving that you see here in this pantry is included.
This is the coat hanger closet and there's additional space here as well. This will be your door to your three bay garage, which measures 27 by 21. The included features in your garage is a tankless water heater and a soft water loop. This sliding door here off of the cafe to your backyard is included. However, if you want to install this covered patio as shown here, it will cost you $17,000. The patio cover will come with the pavers underneath. Please keep in mind that your backyard will come unfinished. The lot sizes in Hayford are 5,500 square foot on average. This model home sits on a 5,500 square foot lot as well. In the backyard, there's an option to install a gas tub. This will cost you $600. If you like having barbecues and prefer not to haul around propane gas tanks, I would highly recommend doing this upgrade. The standard floor in the Hafer collection will be 12x12 12 12 Dow ceramic tiles at the entry and kitchen, final flooring in the bathrooms and the laundry room, and carpeting everywhere else. As we head upstairs to the second floor, we have the game room, bedrooms 2, 3, 4, the owner suite, and the laundry room. There are three options you can choose from in regards to your stair rail. If you like a mission rail as shown here, this is a $3,300 option. If you like the modern rail, this would be a $5,500 option. And the iron rail option would be a $5,600 option. Here with the game room, which measures 14.5 by 16.5. For $5,100, you can convert the game room to bedroom number 6. Bedroom number 6 will measure 14.5 by 12.5 and, and it will also come with a large walk-in closet. You can also choose to seal off the game room with double doors or French doors. The double door option will cost $3,300 and the French doors will cost you $3,900. You also have the option of installing a fireplace in the game room for $5,600. And you can also choose to install a wet bar in the game room for $6,300. Here we have the laundry room. In the laundry room, everything that you see here is not included. If you'd like to install the upper cabinets, the lower cabinets, and the countertops, this will cost you $7,500. You can also choose to install a utility sink for additional $750. If you do choose to install the utility sink, it will be located right here. The owner suite is very spacious and measures 15 and a half by 20. In the owner's suite, there's an option to install a door to the owner's bathroom. This option will cost you $500. Otherwise, another option will be to install a sliding barn door after you close. In the owner's bathroom, cultured marble dual vanity countertop, double porcelain drop-in sinks, Mirror medicine cabinets and also Moen Branford faucets in chrome are included. One of the very interesting features in the Hayford collection is that your owner's bathroom will come with a standard freestanding tub and a separate shower, as shown here in this model home. For $7,200, you can choose to have the framed walk in shower, and for $6,800, you can choose to have a glass walk in shower. 
With all of these three options, you can choose to install a rain shower head and a handheld shower as well. The rain shower head will cost you $1,000, but if you do choose to frame the walk-in shower or the glass walk-in shower, the rain shower head will be included. The handheld shower is available in all three shower options. It will cost you $1,100. Here with the water closet. The kitchen floor plan will come with two large walk-in closets in the owner's bathroom. The shelving that you see here is standard. Here with a linen closet. And this is the other walk-in closet. Here we have bedroom 2 which measures 12 by 16 and a half. In this model home, bathroom 5 has been added. This is a $13,000 option. This option installs bathroom 5 between bedrooms 2 and 3 as a Jack and Jill. It will also reduce the sizes of bedrooms 2 and 3. With this option, bedroom 2 is now 12 by 12. There is also an option to convert bedroom 2 to suite 2. Suite 2 is a $10,000 option. It gives bedroom 2 an ensuite bathroom instead of a shared Jack and Joe bathroom with bedroom 3. Here we have the bathroom 5 option. With the bathroom 5 option, you will get dual vanities instead of the single vanity. Bathroom 5 will also be larger in size in comparison to the suite bathroom. In bathroom 5, your standard features will include cultured marble vanity countertops with drop-in sinks, mirror medicine cabinets, and Moen Branford faucets in chrome. The bathtub shower combo that you see here with the fiberglass around is the standard. As I mentioned earlier in my video, there's a few options to upgrade this bathtub shower combo. Here we have bedroom 3 which measures 12 by 16 and a half. Due to the bathroom 5 option, bedroom 3 is now 12 by 12 in this model home. Bedroom 3 will overlook the front yard. Here we have the walk-in closet for bedroom 3. If you did not choose to have the bathroom 5 option, this walk-in closet will actually be located over here at that door to bathroom 5. Here we have bathroom 2. Bathroom 2 will come with dual sinks. And similar to the other secondary bathrooms, you have options to upgrade the bathtub shower combo with fiberglass to options 1, 2, and 3.
In this hallway, we have a linen closet. Here we have bedroom four, which measures 14 by 12 and a half. There's an option to convert bedroom four to suite three. This is a $9,800 option. Bathroom seven will be added to this wall. With a suite conversion, bedroom four will remain the same size. An ensuite bathroom will be added and one of the walk-in closets in the owner's bathroom will shrink in size. This concludes our home tour of the kitchen model at the Hayford Collection. If you have any questions for me or would like my assistance in buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, please do not hesitate to give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much guys for watching to the very end. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.